Hello and welcome to Under the Ocean, devlog number three. We've just released our first playable build. Let's walk you through the first 10 minutes on the island. The game starts with a shipwreck and you've been washed up on this raft. Let's open up these boxes and see what's inside. Grab our axe. And we've got a firecracker, a spearhead, and we'll need some driftwood for that as well, and a rifle, some bullets, and some bandages which will definitely come in handy later. First things first, we're quite thirsty after our journey, let's find some water. We can take this bucket and drop it in the river. Then we can open up the crafting screen on the plate and drag it onto him to make him drink. There are also some fish in the water. Let's construct a spear. We open up the crafting screen on the driftwood and attach a spearhead. Glowworms provide light. Let's save him for later. To attract a fish, let's throw a worm in the water. We'll wait for one to get close by, and spear it. Opening up the crafting screen on the spear once again, let's just drag the fish off. Let's also pick up some yarrow for later use. We can use it as a makeshift bandage and antiseptic. It started to hail. This can be dangerous as it can give us hypothermia. We're going to need a campfire. These leaves were under cover and have dried out, so we can open up the crafting screen and use the flint on them to start the fire. The leaves will soon burn out, so we need to drag some larger foliage and driftwood onto it to keep it going. Lastly, let's turn it into a massive bonfire by chopping down this tree. And dragging it on. Now let's cook the fish we caught earlier. Opening up the crafting screen on it, we can pull it apart. This will later require a knife. We can then drag the fillet out and hold it over the fire. You can see with time it cooks and changes colour. Once it's fully cooked, we can eat it without worrying about parasites or diseases. Let's keep exploring the island. We can also hunt chickens for food, however they're easily startled and must be killed quickly before they run off. Let's jump down behind him before he has a chance to run away. We can pull apart the chicken just like we did the fish, discarding the entrails and keeping the meat for later. Note that it needs to be cooked soon otherwise it will begin to rot. Let's keep going. Stepping on the crabs will give you a nasty surprise. Avoid them if you can. Minding the beehive. As you can see we've been out too long in the hail and we've passed out. Future versions will go more into depth on this. We awake back at our campfire. Painkillers, clothes and other items we find along the way will help us to avoid this. It's 
It's nearly morning and the weather's cleared up. Let's keep going. There's an explosive crate down there. Let's grab it because we're going to need it pretty soon. Boars are some of the most fearsome predators early in the game. If we get too close, he can quickly overwhelm us. It's best to stay back and shoot him from afar. Make sure you aim for his head. We could also use an explosive crate to kill it. This is very useful if there's a pack of them. And lastly, my favourite method is to improvise a rocket. Let's take our spear into the crafting screen, light the firecracker with a piece of flint, and attach it to the spear. Now when we throw the spear at the ball, which would usually just make him angry, it kills him outright. The boar can be pulled into pieces just like any other animal. We can use his ribs to build makeshift spears. He has plenty of meat. And most importantly for us, his pelt can be dried out and crafted into a cloak. Here's one we made earlier. A cloak will keep us warm when we're out in the rain and the hail. There are safer ways to get food though. Let's grow some tomato bushes. First we'll need some seeds which we can get from eating a tomato. Then we plant them in the dirt. When we come back, there should be a small tomato bush waiting for us. Let's keep exploring the island. Light from a glowworm will help us navigate at night. We can cut through this rock barrier with an axe. Maybe we'll need the light to see what we're doing. I'll climb the rope to get up here. There's no easy way up this cliff. However, there are remains of a broken bridge laying around. Let's build a platform to jump onto. If you drag a joint onto a rock face, it will attach itself. And a second one. Then we can drag planks onto the joints to lock them in place. Repeating this process a few times, Making sure to engineer the structure properly will give us a platform that's long enough and sturdy enough for us to jump onto.
Thank you all for watching. The first alpha is available to anyone who's purchased the game. We hope to bring out updates much more quickly now the base game layer is in. We got some pretty exciting stuff coming, so stick around guys.